You think a writer doesn't look like me. That's what young people think. They say, a writer doesn't look like me. And I would say, well, I think that a writer does look like you. And I really want to hear what you have to say. I met um, a careers officer and I only became a writer because of this careers officer because he sat me down after I'd left university and he said to me, what do you want to do? And I said, oh, well, I might teach. And he said, no, what do you really want to do? And I said, well, I, I want to write. And he said, well, go and write. That's and I said, I can't do it. I said, I don't think I, I was a kid. And he, go, he said, well, people will tell you you can't do it because they've, he said, older people haven't followed their own dreams. Yeah, and one of the best pieces of advice I've ever heard is when you want something, go for it and just keep going until someone stops you. And, and you might be surprised at how far you can go. What about you? What were your early experiences of theatre? Mainly ones of rejection, but mm. <laughs> my careers officer told me to become a TV repairman. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. They'll tell you it's not possible, but you go and do it. I think it's hard to know what it means to sometimes to believe in yourself. So I always tell people to believe in the work. I would absolutely embrace that as a philosophy. Tell your truth and just keep going. As someone, not a writer, but someone who, who, who very quickly found myself wanted to encourage people to write and inspire people to write. Writing does take discipline. You do have to show up at a desk, you know, you have to pick up your pen, you actually have to do it, you have to go through several drafts and that can be really painful because when you start writing the work isn't going to look like the work of people you consider to be great writers. For me, um, you know, growing up Jamaican parents, in a Jamaican household in fact, I often say that the flat that I lived in might as well have been Jamaica. You know, it was a little bit of Jamaica and then when I stepped outside I was in London. It was fascinating to me because all the characters from Jamaica were these Windrush generation people who were amazing and amazing storytellers. Our story is never ending. It has to carry on, it has to go on. We're constantly changing, we're constantly evolving. Uh, we need to capture our culture because we We'll always want to try and understand ourselves and we're very complex. I would just encourage young people to just have a go basically, just, just try, just write. <laughs>